If you have been waiting for a super realistic ship simulator, then your wait could finally be over. However, it's not all plain sailing just yet. There is much to discuss about V-Step's Nautis Home Ship Simulator in this review. If, like me, you have always wanted an ultra-realistic nautical simulator, then Nautis Home Ship Simulator is certainly going to impress. I have uploaded hours of unedited gameplay on SimUK Ultimate Realism, and I urge you to go and take a look after watching this review if you're interested in learning more. V-Step and Nautis have an existing commercial shipping simulation company, and Nautis Home is the consumer version of it. It is in early access right now, but I can already confirm it is by far the most realistic ship simulator that I have ever experienced. I would even go so far as to suggest that it has the potential to evolve into being the most realistic simulator I've ever experienced. Right now though, it's in early access and there is an awful lot of development that would be required before I could share that level of enthusiasm. In its current early access state though, we already have precise one-to-one -one scaled replicas of some of the world's busiest and well-known harbours, including their shallows, channels and complex underwater rips. We're also already talking about real-world physics with wind, tides and water currents to contest with. And of course we're talking about proper scaled models of ships with combined realistic controls and behaviour thanks in part to the propellers which react to and reflect the varying levels of water pressure to output realistic ship drive and drift. Nowhere is that more prevalent than when reversing and experienced captains will know exactly what I mean by that and that's something for you rookie captains to enjoy learning all about. Here I'm uh, reversing a little earlier than I'm ready for. It's not a disaster yet. Reversing of course is quite difficult. Steering in reverse is even more difficult. Oh, this is going to be tight. Oh no, we're in, we're in. Speaking of rookie captains, if you sign up to Nautis Home, you can get access to some demonstration tutorials. Full subscription opens up even more training scenarios with accompanying online documentation in their V-Step LXP. There is also a community forum where ideas and recommendations are shared freely and help from more experienced sea dogs is frequently on hand. So, Nautis Home is a very useful tool for training, educating yourself and practicing manoeuvres or if you're just a hardcore sim enthusiast. Nautis Home offers a wide selection of discovery scenarios for you to enjoy and as the game evolves more and more locations, ships, tutorials and scenarios will be made available and often these emanate from suggestions or requests that come directly from the community. They have recently added controller support which totally transforms the sailing experience for me. There is a lot of control over axis bandwidth, centralisation and dead zones and Despite a few frustrating disconnects, I have to say I have successfully combined a few different devices together, a steering wheel and a throttle, and overall controller support is excellent. With a little bit more work, I would call it damn near perfect. As you can see from my gameplay footage, I have managed to play using three 2K monitors using Nvidia Surround, whilst exporting the HUD elements to a fourth 4K monitor below. Now the game does not officially support this configuration at all, but despite some stutters in the recording only, I have to say hardly any noticeable stutters in the game itself, it has worked near perfectly. And on occasion, it's even been so realistic to evoke the mildest sense of nausea in some of the rougher weather. It's, do you know what? It's realistic enough to make me feel ever so slightly nauseous. Speaking of weather, although we can experience severe fog conditions causing us to rely on radar navigation, this is an area desperately in need of further development. Right now there are limited splash and wake effects. Rain and water splash fail to form droplets on the windscreens and the wipers simply do not work. 
In fact, the inside of the ships, right now at least, are quite sparse and unfinished. Maximum wave height in storms is less than impressive, and these are all areas expected to improve as Nautis updates continue to release and the dev team are actively listening to player feedback. One of the key areas expected to improve in the coming weeks is navigation. The community are very keen to have authentic charts and navigation opportunities added, and the dev team do appear to be prioritising this as a result. All of this fantastic realism, though, comes at a price. But what is that price? Right now in Early Access, one month will cost you €5.95 Euros and, and after Early Access that will escalate to €9.95. Euros and you can get a discount by opting in for a six, six month subscription. Right now that will set you back €29.75 Euros and but after Early Access that will go up to €49.75. Euros and so just under €100 Euros per year is what you will be expecting to pay at full release. And just over €60 Euros a year during early access. Now I can understand why VSTEP, who own their commercial shipping training company, have decided to utilize a subscription system in favor of a single purchase price combined with numerous optional DLC purchases for location ships and add-on scenario packs. And despite Nautis Home looking like an exceptionally realistic training level simulator, this for me is a bit of a disappointing decision. And with early access costs fluctuating, the costs can get pretty extreme pretty quickly. I know that a subscription model, as expensive as, as this is going to be, is going to be a real problem for many simulation fans out there. And it might ultimately be the undoing of Nautis Home altogether. Whilst many sim fans might be willing to part with £100 up front for the base game, and then purchase additional optional DLC packs thereafter, as and when they see fit, the number of people who are going to be willing to part with £100 every year own nothing at the end of it is going to be considerably smaller. Many will consider the costs just too high, especially when you consider that most simulation fans do participate in other simulation titles and would in effect not be playing Nautis Home daily. As a result, the cost per hour of play spirals exponentially. Now, Nautis Home have been kind enough to give me 12 months access to their monthly subscription-based simulator so that I can produce this honest review for you and create some gameplay footage so you can at least have a look and see just how good it is before you opt in. Now, I have to say that I'm not a fan of subscription-based purchasing and if Nautis Home wasn't as realistic as it is, then I wouldn't even consider the idea. But... Having invested hours and hours learning how to control numerous ships, practicing maneuvers and then passing exams, testing my abilities to the max, I am struggling with the thought of not having this incredible sim in my collection. Now if this was a single purchase with lots of optional DLCs to expand location ships and challenges, hands down I would 100% immediately recommend this to all simulation and nautical fans alike. As it is, I reiterate, I do recommend you go and watch my hours and hours of gameplay and decide for yourself. This is unedited footage. I haven't tweaked it or changed it to make it more exciting or compelling than it is. What you see is what you get. Honestly, despite the extremely high costs, I am now genuinely contemplating whether or not I can afford my own subscription in 10 months when my review subscription license runs out. If it wasn't as good as it really is, then I wouldn't even consider the idea, but having enjoyed my experience so much already, I have to weigh up the time I would likely play with the money that I would have to spend. And with numerous improvements on the horizon, that is going to be a difficult choice for me to make. But please do take a look at the gameplay footage I have uploaded. Let me know your thoughts. And um, who knows, maybe some changes with the subscription system will be available in the future. That's pure speculation. But um, obviously, if they don't have enough subscribers, the game will have to either drop the price, change the pricing structure, or um, stop developing the game. And that really would be a terrible, terrible shame because it's looking incredible already. 
Guys, thank you so much. I wish I had 100% happy news to share with you on this front, but um, let me know your thoughts on the subscription model below. I, am, I have no doubt that Nautis Home will be reading comments here, and uh, please do feel free to sound off or uh, provide constructive criticism, please, wherever possible. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Take care. Don't forget to hit that like button. Bye for now. Yes! But did I do it in time? That's the question. Did I do it in under 45 minutes?